I remember that she packed up some clothes and we went into town because that was something that I always loved to do with my mom. And we went into town and we would always get food and played in the park and different things like that. And I remember her going into town with me. And at that time she thought, oh, you should come see this building. And I remember her bringing me to this building and all I remember was this white gate. And we met some people at the gate and she said, well, why don't you go in and see what it looks like? And I went in and all I remember was the gate closed. I was not allowed to leave. And my mom came a few times to talk to me through the gate, um, probably about two to three times. And then um, I didn't see her anymore. And so it was, it was kind of, uh, it was kind of, um, disheartening, I guess, now, I, I guess, looking back at it. I would love to tell her, you know what, thank you because you could have easily aborted me just like any other child during this war. Thank you for holding on to me. Thank you for carrying me. Thank you for putting me in a safe place and allowing me to be picked up and to be cared for. And thank you for walking away. I'd love to find her. I'd love to find her. I don't know how I do it, but I'd love to just live with this hero image of who she is. And I think to this point, um, I'm happy and I'm satisfied, so.